Hey, what's up VIPs? How y'all doing? It's a beautiful Friday. I'm so happy to be here. It's a sunny day out. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, do you guys like my hoodie? I got this hoodie at VidCon and I just like Sharpie my YouTube name on my hoodie. Well, that's not really my YouTube name. The, my YouTube name is The Vernon Vlog, but if you type that in, I'll pop up. Um, on the back, it's got like it says like creator, creator, creator. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says, okay, epic fail. Anyway, it says creator, creator, creator. It's kind of like the grocery bags that say, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what it's got on the back of this hoodie, except it says creator. All right, so today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a seamless sliding post for Instagram, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to do this without Photoshop because I'm always a sucker for trying to figure out ways of creating stuff artistically without using Photoshop because Photoshop can be very expensive and it's a little complicated. You have to take classes to learn how to use it. I like stuff simple, straight to the point, and I wanna be creative, you know? Um, so this I'm gonna show you guys how to do this without Photoshop. Before I get started, be sure you hit the subscribe button or the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And so, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm on my computer here, of course, as you can see. And this is a, a seamless post that I'm going to be posting on Instagram. Now, of course, you see these separately. But inside Instagram, you're going to see something completely different. You're going to be able to slide through these. And they're going to all consistently be together as one project. So, the background, as you can notice, if you notice, the background is like the New York City skyline. And it's going to all seamlessly come together. So I'm gonna show you guys how exactly I did that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the program Paintbrush on your Mac computer, if you have a Mac computer. If you don't have a Mac computer, you can download something similar, find something, research something similar. It shouldn't be hard to find it all. Just research something similar um, to your Windows computer if you have a Windows computer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up that whatever that paint program is, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna set your width canvas size to 1242 and your height canvas size to 1552 and you're going to hit okay okay now each one of these is is an individual post for instagram so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually zoom out because i don't want it to be that big so that's perfect so the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to open up my background and i'm going to choose it so i'm going to open up the New York City skyline, which is right here. And what you also want to do, guys, is you want to proportion um, your, you, you want to change your size of your photo depending on what you want to show, what you don't want to show. It all, it all depends on what, how you want it to, to play out. But I've already, um, I've already changed the size on this image here. And um, I've set it at, 2840 by 1598 um, it was much larger than this so I set it at this so that it so that it can fit in each one of my posts so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to select the whole thing I'm gonna select the whole image I'm gonna I'm gonna hit command a and then I'm gonna hit command C for copy and then I'm go, gonna go to my canvas I'm gonna hit command V for paste now that's the first thing that pops up in there now this is the this is the beginning of the photo, and it goes all the way until about right here. Now, this photo is still selected, so I can still move this around. You see here, I can move this around and go all the way to the end of the photo. I can, this whole photo is in here because it's currently selected. Now, if I click outside of here, it's gonna be stuck in here, and I won't be able to move this image around anymore, but it's still selected. I don't know if you guys can see, but um, there's itty bitty itty bitty lines going all around the photo here that means that it's still selected and I can still edit the photo and move it around so I'm gonna choose it to be the very first part of my image here so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it on along here and I'm just gonna start at the top I'm gonna align the top with the top of the canvas here and I'm just gonna carefully just drag it over here until it covers up the canvas or if you want you can have it begin like right here have like a little border you just get creative with it you can do whatever you want to you can start like you can do something like that have a thickness to it and just you can just get creative with it you know what I'm just gonna actually do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go about right here and just create kind of like a um, thickness to it 
just to give it a little bit of a border, give it to, give it some creative edge, okay? And now I'm gonna click outside of it, and now I can't move it anymore, see? I can't move that image anymore because I clicked outside of it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a photo that I want. So I'm gonna go here to my file here, and I'm just gonna pick a photo that I took in New York City when I was there for Fashion Week. So let's choose, hmm, we're gonna choose this photo. I actually already have that photo. So no, I'm actually not gonna pick that photo. Um, let's pick something else. Um, okay, scratch that. I'm gonna choose a photo that I, that I didn't take in New York City. I took it here in LA, but no one will know that. Okay, so I'm gonna select my image here. Now my image is gonna be too large to go in here. So I'm, I need to resize my image. So I'm gonna go up to tools, adjust size, and then I'm gonna bring this down to 1000, okay? And I'm gonna hit select, copy, come into here, hit paste. It's still too big at a thousand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that, hit undo, and then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna resize this again and make it smaller than a thousand. I'm gonna go, let's do 750. And let's select it, copy, paste it in here. Bam, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I'm just gonna put it anywhere, put it anywhere I want. I'm gonna put it up here, you can put it over here, you can you can crop it off a bit, you can you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this thing. Just be as creative as you want. So I'm just gonna, hmm, I'm gonna put it like hmm, right here in the center, okay? Bam, bam, so the first one is done. So I'm gonna get rid of this image because I'm done with it. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another one of these. So I'm gonna go to new, file, new. It's already set at my dimensions that I want. So I'm gonna click OK, and it's gonna open up another one. And this is gonna be for my second seamless image for Instagram. So I'm just gonna zoom out. There we are. Now what we're gonna do is, now we wanna make sure the background is consistent and it's gonna be consistent all the way through. We wanna make sure the background aligns perfectly with the second one and so forth for the third one we're gonna do. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the first one I created. I'm gonna select the whole thing. I'm gonna copy it. Minimize that. Come over here. I'm gonna paste it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right here. I am going to come over here, and let's see here. Actually, wait. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the bottom part is aligned perfectly with the bottom. So we have to remember that. So we make sure it's it's consistent. So we're gonna make sure the bottom of this one is at the bottom of the canvas as well because we want to make sure everything aligns perfectly because if I don't put this at the bottom and I put it up here or I put it up here this over here the bottom part of the New York City skyline here it won't align correctly it'll be all the way up here all the way down here so we want to make sure it aligns perfectly so I'm just gonna make sure I put it down here I'm just gonna come all the way over here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure I'm gonna click out of that and what we're going to do now for the second part of this New York City background image is we want to make sure that we start where this ends at okay so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna estimate so we're gonna look for this building here this building is right here very easily noticeable so it starts right after the pointy thingy here right after here we're gonna start so I'm just gonna come over here I'm gonna select it I'm gonna come about right here. Eh, about right here. I'm gonna select the rest of the image. Command C for copy. We're gonna come back over here. Command V for paste. Okay. And so it starts about right there. It ends here. So we wanna make sure we align this up correctly. See here, see how it's aligned now? Now we're gonna bring this all the way over, okay? We're gonna bring this all the way over. Because again, it starts about right here where that end point is, so the point part of that building. So bam, now we have the second background image of start over 
I left a little a itty bitty space of whiteness on the thingy. So we're just gonna come over here and bam. There we are. So now we have the second part of the background of the image. Remember, we wanna make it consistent so we still have that white border up here because remember on the first one, on the first one we have a white border. So we wanna make sure it's consistent all the way through. Or if you want, you can be creative and you can have the background picture cricket, whatever you wanna do. But for the purpose of making it seamlessly slide all the way across through, we wanna make sure it matches up. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply choose our second photo. And we'll do, we'll do a photo of me in Brooklyn. That's in New York. <laughs> so we're just going to do 750 again. Well, nah, let's do 850. We're gonna select it, Command A, Command C for copy. Come over here, Command V for paste. And we're just gonna put it in here. And we'll just put it We'll put it about right there. Okay, bam, our second one is done. So now what we wanna do is go to, is open up another one and go to our third canvas. And it already has our dimension set. We're just gonna open a new one, zoom out on it, go to the second one, copy it. Command A for select, Command C for copy. And we're just gonna minimize that, get that out of the way. And we're gonna command V to paste this one. And so, I'm just gonna move it over here. So we make sure we get everything lined up correctly. And so this one ends right about halfway of whatever this thingy is here. I don't know what that is, but we'll find it. It's not hard at all to find. And we're just gonna erase up until the end point of here of this area here. And that probably is, let's see what building that is. We're gonna look for it here. So I would say that is about right here. So we're just we don't have much left to cover, so we're just gonna erase all the way until we get to that point. And that point is about right here. Let's see here. Looks like a little cross, but it's not. Um, let's see. About right there is where it ends. And we're just gonna get rid of this all up here. So we don't have much left to cover for the background. All the background is covered up for the most part. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to select what's left in the background photo. We're gonna select all that, hit Command C for copy. Come over here to our third canvas, hit Command V for paste. And we're gonna just paste it in here. And we're gonna bring it all the way over, making sure that it aligns perfectly with everything. There we are. So now let's choose our third and final photo. So let's pick, we'll pick this one. The red stands out. Let's make sure we resize it so it's not too large inside the photo. We'll do 850. We'll, let's see what that does. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. And we'll just we'll just do a little overlay like that. Now, what you can do, guys, is before you send it to yourself, if you want to test it out to see that everything is aligned perfectly and matches up perfectly, you can actually put these photos side by side together and test that out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna move the first one over and I'm gonna come to the second one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my my uh, window here and put it all the way to the edge of the photo as close as I can. And I'm gonna drag it over here and match it up. And see how perfectly it matches up with the background? See how it matches up there? That's how you know that it's perfect and it's gonna look like this in Instagram. 
And then I'm gonna come to the third one here and do the same thing. And just match it up with the second one. And there we have it. So let's see what this looks like in Instagram. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.